Hello, dear viewers. I hope you're all doing well today because today's topic is Tales from the Crypt, Television Terror Explored. I'm your host, Andrew Lapamardo, and this is Marvelous Video. Are you looking for some streaming screams? Sometimes we want a horror movie, but other times we want a truckload of horror. And nothing beats a horror TV program for those binge-watching pleasures. Contrary to common belief and popular movie, you don't have to live in a haunted suburban house to get pulled in to the horrors of your television. Many of these genres' most memorable programs have revolved around things that go bump in the night from the short story psychological shocks of 60s anthology shows to today's streaming assisted scare fest. One such show is Tales from the Crypt. It is an American terror miscellaneous television series that aired on the premium cable channel HBO for seven seasons and 93 episodes from June 10th, 1989 to July 19th, 1990. The title of the program is based on the same named 1950s EC comic series, and the majority of the content originates from that comic or the other DC comics of that period. Vault of Horror, The Haunt of Fear, Two-Fisted Tales, Shock Suspense Stories, and Crime Suspense Stories. The Crypt Keeper is a wise-cracking corpse portrayed by Puppeteer and voiced by John Casser, host the show. The Crypt Keeper, the show's moldering presenter, introduces a stream of horrifying yarns in this campy and stylized anthology series. Several well-known film stars appear in the episodes, which include Dan Aykroyd, Sam Watterson, Christopher Reeves, and Malcolm McDowell. Episodes were directed by notables such as Tom Hanks, Michael J. Fox, John Frankenheimer, Richard Donner, and Robert Zemeckis. Now, before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel this is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. So, let's begin. <laughs> Tales from the Crypt episode. Television Terror Explore. The episode begins with the Crypt Keeper introducing the segment and making quite a few pun-filled remarks with a tremendous amount of zest. One of the tales from the Crypt's recurring jokes was the Crypt Keeper's use of terror-themed allusions and puns, such as referring to the audience as boils and ghouls, rather than boys and girls. Horton River, the host of a tabloid news show, and his camera team are at the steps of a haunted house in Los Angeles. He records his introduction, claiming that Ada Ritter, the housekeeper, would habitually murder her patients in order to receive their social security payments. Twelve people were killed in all, and Ada's suicide spurred an inquiry. Horton declares that he would investigate the allegedly haunted house and tape the entire event live. He ritualistically removes the warning tape from around the home, which he had taped up previously as a production value. A producer called Sam goes through Horton's schedule with him as they cut for a commercial break. She is both captivated and disturbed by her boss's eagerness to continue pushing people's buttons. Horton, who reveals he's sleeping with Sam, advises her to develop a killer instinct in order to thrive in show business. You're not tough enough. You're too conscientious. You gotta have that killer instinct. The right? program resumes after a commercial break. Horton has a dialogue with a psychic, Roland Wareshafter, who describes the mansion as a pit of seething evil and insists that no one should enter. Horton dismisses him rudely and walks into the home with videographer Trip Henderson. They take a tour of the first floor, but are only surprised by a few rodents in the kitchen. Then they reach the gaming room, where Ada is shown murdering one of her victims in a flashback. Finally, they search the cellar, which is where Ada used to hide her victim. Before going to a commercial break yet again, Horton offers an exaggerated explanation regarding Ada's motivation. Horton believes the program is a success, but Sam warns him that he is dragging and that the network wishes that he spice it up. Horton throws a temper tantrum, but suddenly he and Trip hear a groan coming from the second story. Trip's camera briefly drops its feet as they race up to find the cause. Horton follows the sound of water trickling from the bathroom, where he finds a bloodied and elderly man in the tub with his neck slit. He becomes terrified and informs Trip, but the cameraman observes nothing of the sort. Blood starts pouring out out of a closet door, 
Abruptly, the chandelier shakes, and the door smashes back and forth. An invisible force passes across the room, knocking the chandelier from the ceiling to the ground, and destroying a portrait as Tripp's video feed returns, and the show returns from its ad break. When everything quiets down, Horton does a piece, stating that this is the first time paranormal activity has been caught on tape. He is then connected to Wereshafter, who verifies they are experiencing a wide range of supernatural phenomena and that they are in great danger. You were in danger the moment you crawled to the threshold. Someone else is groaning elsewhere in the house. Horton encourages Sam to contact the police, but she cuts off when the network phones with favorable feedback on the episode. Horton discovers blood on a carpet and traces it to Tripp's body, which is hanging from a noose. He gasps in fear when he sees a specter is holding the camera. He tries to flee, but a swarm of other ghosts pursue him into a corner chamber. He pleads for assistance. Sam sees how much of a ratings bump this occurrence will be, but is unaware of the danger her employer is in and decides not to send any aid in. He is abruptly accosted by Ada Ritter's spirit, who mortally slashes into him using a chainsaw. As he is forced out the window, a curtain rope is tied around his neck. His bloodied remains hang from the second story, the camera filming the entire scene in real time. Sam, who believed she had discovered her killer instinct, is taken aback after she finds out her gross error. Who is the Crypt Keeper? Tales from the Crypt's on-screen puppet presenter is the Crypt Keeper. The Crypt Keeper features in the series opening section and serves as the storyteller. Later, he reappears for the last section to add caustic comments or a bitter moral. He first appeared in Crime Patrol number 15 magazine, and he remained with the magazine despite changes in name and style. In the earliest versions, he was a terrifying figure, a scary hermit sitting trapped in a dimly lit crypt's half-open entrance, his face almost concealed by the canopy of his long white hair. However, he quickly morphed into a more humorous horror presenter, providing sarcastic and punny comments to lighten the awful nature of the tales he presented. The Crypt Keeper is depicted as a small, decrepit man with tresses who dons a robe most of the time. His appearance is somewhat reminiscent of a zombie. Horton? Horton, who's got the camera? Why should you watch Tales from the Crypt? Television Terror? Working from a crisp and deliciously hilarious script by J. Randall Johnson and C.J. Prush, director Charlie Percherny delivers this delightful episode at a relentless and rapid pace, successfully creating and maintaining a beautifully ominous tone and staging the lively, thrilling, and violent conclusion with remarkable finesse and brio. Furthermore, it's a tremendous delight to witness the constantly unpleasant Morty go through the gauntlet and meet a fabulously grisly end. Dorothy Park as Horton's enthusiastic assistant Sam, Warren Burton as pretentious psychic Roland, Peter Van Norden as displeased producer Booth, and Michael Harris as adventurous cameraman Tripp all do an outstanding job in adding to the charm of this episode. But what indeed gives this episode a wildly amusing and pleasurable kick in the pants is the gloriously cruel manner it mocks the brazen character Character of trashy television shows that will stoop and go to any low for the sake of high ratings. The depiction of Horton's employees as a group of long-suffering people who despise their boss's guts is a fantastic touch. Robert Draper's eerie cinematography provides a couple of certifiably unsettling imagery. J. Peter Robinson's shivering and passionate piece strike the mark. Television Terror is a fantastic tale from the crypt, and it's certainly up there with one of the best of them. This episode is an utter joy to watch for young and old alike. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. And as the kids say, why don't you go smash that bell icon so you're notified whenever we upload a new video. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.